friends welcome back to my channel I'm so happy you're all here and in today's video I have a Walmart haul for you as much as I love summer and the warmer weather I really wanted to get some fall shopping started so I'm excited to show you this Walmart haul and I know you're here to see the clothes so why don't we go ahead and get started with the try on all right we are going to start off with this adorable short sleeve button front cardigan. But sadly, when I just looked at the Walmart website, this little cardigan is marked down to $5. And that is because it's very limited in what they have for sizes available with the different colors. I'm definitely still going to link it because if they happen to have your size available in this, this is a steal for $5, an absolute steal. So jump on this quickly if you're interested in this sweater because for $5 I'm amazed because this is a very nice quality and it's just really pretty with really pretty details. Okay, so here is the length of the sweater. I've got, I haven't got it tucked in at all. And I do think the puff sleeves are just adorable. I like they're not like super exaggerated. They're just a cute puff, very comfortable around the arms. This whole sweater is very comfortable. Now I do have it on with a little cami on underneath because I think this would be quite plunging if I didn't have the cami. But I think the details are so pretty. I'll get a little closer, hopefully you can see. I'm not sure if they would consider this like pointel detail with the little dots here, but it just adds like nice texture and nice detail to this sweater. Really comfortable, very cute, and like I said, for $5, an amazing steal. So hopefully your size will be available if you're interested in this one because I think this is absolutely adorable and this is perfect for those like early fall days because it's technically a sweater but still very comfortable. Just really think this is a great sweater and I'm definitely keeping this one. All right, I have got a, another short sleeve and with puffy sleeves too. I guess I was kind of drawn to this style, but and I thought this navy would be really cute to wear even with white jeans in early fall. I think that would be a really cute look. So First, I should tell you this feels incredibly soft. It feels like a very nice quality, and it does have at the base of the sleeve, it's got a little bit of ribbing. Very comfortable though, and then the little puffy detail. And then hopefully I can get a little closer so you can see there's like maybe some like pleating detail or something here up on the sleeve that gives it just a little bit of like uh, more visual interest I think. And as far as the length, that is the length completely, you know, pulled down. So I would say this is a sweater that it not is it's uh, probably more of like a relaxed fit. I would I guess I would call it because it's definitely not hugging on any of my lumps and bumps. So I really appreciate that. But this feels so nice. The quality feels very nice. I'm really impressed with this one. Definitely going to keep this. I think a navy sweater like this, I'll be able to utilize it in my wardrobe quite a lot. So I'm very excited to add this one. This is and definitely I one I would recommend for you to check out if you're looking for any short sleeve sweaters. I think this one is particularly nice. So I really do like this one here. All right, I am back with another navy top and you are going to see throughout this try on the colors that I am always drawn to for fall and they are blacks, grays, navy blues, and cream colors. I feel like I have a theme that I definitely am drawn to those colors. But anyways, this is a little navy Henley that I think is really cute because it has the little puff sleeve detail. Now you can see that that seems to be a theme with a lot of sweaters this fall, that, that puff sleeve detail is going to be very apparent when you're out shopping. But I, I actually like it. I think when they're not, you know, exaggerated, like, they're not those 80s puff sleeves that we used to wear, you know, the ones that could make you look like a linebacker. So I actually think that these are kind of cute and I like the little bit of puff sleeve detail. But this one is just that like Henley weave 
or like I mean almost they used to call it like long underwear when we when I was younger it kind of has that like texture to the fabric and like the little puff sleeve that you can see they are workable buttons here and there is a little bit of stretch for this it's not super stretchy but a little bit of stretch to this top all right here is the front tuck and I'll take it out to show you the length so that is the length of the top untucked. But I think this is just a cute, very casual piece to have in your wardrobe. Obviously the price is great, but I think this is just something I would wear day to day, just you know, running around errands or hanging around home. This with a pair of jeans and sneakers is just a cute look, I think. So I would definitely recommend this one as well, and this is one I will be keeping. All right, this little open front cardigan is really great too. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about with this one is that I do see little strings already, um, kind of in a few parts. So, so I'm not sure if that speaks to the quality that this is not going to be one that holds up because you can, I don't know if I you can zoom in here, definitely there are a little bit of strings. So I'm a little concerned about that, but the styling of it I think is absolutely adorable. Now, this is the point towel detail, and the weight of this is very light. So this is definitely a good one for early fall, or maybe if you live in a warmer climate, this type of sweater I think is a, is a good weight. It's not very heavy. Let me get close so you can see. Hopefully you can see some of the, the point towel detail, which is pretty. I think the styling is really cute on this one. But like I said, the only detail I'm worried about are these little strings that I'm seeing. I don't know if it's just, you know, maybe there's just a couple of strings and then you wouldn't have an issue, but I hope this doesn't mean that this does not wash and wear well because it really is an adorable little sweater. I decided to keep this little white tank on because I have another black cardigan to share with you. And this is, they are calling it like the boyfriend style. And it does have the three like tortoise looking buttons down the front and I guess I, I should go ahead and I will button it up for you to show you that look. So here it is buttoned up but it's that um, really relaxed like shaker knit style is what I would call this if you can see. And this black one putting this on it feels like I think it's a better quality than the point towel cardigan that I just had on. There isn't any strings on this one, so I'm thinking this one actually may hold up a little bit better than that one that I previously showed you. But I think this like boyfriend style is very popular. It does have the two like patch pockets in the front, and it's very comfortable, very soft, not the least bit itchy. And I actually like this, um, you know, the boyfriend style, or sometimes I've heard it referred to as like grandpa sweaters, but I think they're cute because I like them because they're not clinging to, you know, parts of your body you don't want them to cling to, so they're very comfortable. This one is a little bit heavier weight than the other sweaters that I've had on. It's kind of a nice weight for early fall, but then even into winter time, if you live in a cold climate, definitely like a long sleeve tee under here to make it a little bit warmer would absolutely work. Or wouldn't it look cute, a white button down shirt underneath this too. So really adorable sweater. And this one, I like I said, I think the quality seems to be a little bit better than that one that I previously showed you. So I think I'm definitely keeping this one. All right, I am back with another sweater. And this one, again, I just, when I checked the Walmart website, I believe this is $5. So I think that is lim limited in the sizes, but I definitely want to show it to you because if it's something that you're interested in, obviously $5 for a sweater, I mean, that's it's a great deal. So. This one, I have to say, 
I think I liked the picture of it online more than I like it on myself in person. I do think it has some pretty details. This, first of all, this fabric, it is extremely soft. I mean, this is a really, really soft feeling sweater. It does have the longer cuff at the wrist and then a little bit of puffy sleeves, but not like over exaggerated. Then in the front, it has this detail, this little like ruffle that's sewn into a V. And this feels, this is not sweater fabric, the little ruffle. It feels to me like cotton blend of some sort. But it, and I believe it stops just at the shoulders too. It does not go all the way down the back of the sweater. Here is what the length looks like with the sweater pulled all the way down. But I do think this is a really cute sweater and if you are interested in this one for $5, I hope your size is still available because it feels very soft. This feels to be good quality. And although I do think it's really cute, I think the style is just not me. So I think I'm gonna be sending this back even though it is only $5 because then if someone else wants it, this will be available if someone else really wants to get this sweater. So, did want to show this one to you. Okay friends, I have this time and true dress to show you. And I thought that this black and white, you know, check pattern would be a really cute one for fall. But sadly, I think this one is not working for me. Let me step back and show you. All right, so here's with my hands in the pockets. When I take my hands out, the weight of the fabric that, uh, from these pockets really just hits me right at the hips and I think makes me look so wide through here. Also, I wasn't aware that this is actually a stretchy knit. And this is really stretchy. And that fact, I feel like my arms feel like a stuffed sausage <laughs> in this dress right now. It's really like form fitting. I mean, it's not uncomfortable up on my upper arms, but I'm really not loving the look. You all know I have issue with my upper arms and I frankly don't like the how form fitting this is on my upper arms. So I don't like that. So the the way the sleeves are fitting and the way that this makes me, I feel, look really wide through here, I think it's just not the dress for me. But I do think that this could be a really cute dress on so many of you. And I was thinking this stretchy knit would be a great one for travel because you wouldn't have to worry about the wrinkle factor, so that would be a good thing. But I think, sadly, this style just isn't very flattering on me. It's just, I, th those, these pockets just bother me too much the way they are making my hips look bigger. All right, so that is the dress. Now I wanted to show you this denim jacket that I ordered. And I have a denim jacket from Old Navy, but it is the old school denim jacket with absolutely no stretch, it's that old, regular denim that we used to have back in the 80s where there was no stretch. That is the denim jacket that I have and I thought I'm not really loving how that fits on me most of the time. So I decided to go ahead and try one of these time and true ones. And this one I really like. This one does have a lot of stretch. It's got the regular denim jacket details but I do feel like the fit of this just having the little bit of stretch is actually much more flattering on me than the old navy one that I own. I think this is a really cute one and I think that for the price I believe it's $19.99 I mean that's a great price for a cute denim jacket so this one I think is really cute and I would recommend these time and true ones for sure. Okay friends, that is going to wrap it up for today. I'm so happy that you stopped by and let me share my Walmart fall haul with you. Just the first one probably of many. But thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you next time. Bye.